Dude, my mic wasn't even on. And I didn't even have my... Oh my god. Alright, second sc Why is... What? That's not the second screen. What the frick? Well, that's... Oh, uh, whatever. Hold on, let me turn down my mic then. Turn down my mic because I'm a bit too loud for what I want the vibe to be like right now. Uh, let's see if this is good. And, um... Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, so basically, I... Um... I came up with... I don't know. I don't think I've ever said this before. Maybe I have. I don't know. I've had this channel for a bit. But, um, I have said that I want to become a video game developer, just, or, you know, stuff like that. I want to become a video game developer when I grow up. And I like coming up with ideas for games. And I've had one before. And I actually created a character for it. And I don't know, uh, this guy over here, he, this drawing specifically is from uh what was the video called like drawings i made when i was bored this is not the first time i've drawn him he's a he's a character i've had since middle school actually let me check i have the my original uh drawing of him and it has his it has the date of when it was made It was May 21st, 2019, when I created this guy. His name is Z. I don't know why I named him Z, but I just kind of like the name and it stuck. And his game's kind of good. I mean, if I had to compare it to a game that's already existing, probably Final Fantasy VII Remake, with less emphasis on... Staying in combat, the like and stuff like, more emphasis on like relationships with your teammates and whatnot. So kind of like the the battle system of Final Fantasy VII merged with the confidant system of Persona Five, something like that. But um. I came up with a new... It's going to be basically... It's going to be like a Mega Man's. It's going to be a platformer shooter. It's going to be one of those. And I feel like I make I might make this one... Um, first. Because platform shooters are easier to make than 3D... RPGs and stuff like that. And I want this ha to have an emphasis on color. So... Like, color that show emotions. Like, so, let's say you're in a tutorial, everything's fine, everything's chill. So, like, you got, like, a lot of blue hues and purple, and just, like, colors that are, that, that are easy to look at, pleasant to look at. And let's just say, I don't know, something happens halfway through the tutorial, like, evil guy attacks, everything's gone to shit. There's, like, red coming in from the corners of the screen like uh the sky in the background starts to, like turn orange and crap like that you know and you get like these colors that are associated with like danger and and uh just bad things in general maybe some like black in there too so what i want to do is i want to have this guy's color so okay well what i'm gonna do or I want to do for this stream is create a new character 
for this game, the protagonist. I want to create the protagonist. So I'm going to be creating a new character. And I want his color palette to like, I don't know, just, let me just search up colors. Uh, so, seated, not with zodiac signs. Those can go piss off. Colors associated with good. Red, passion, love, anger, orange, energy, happiness, vitality. Orange could be his hair color. He could be <laughs> he he could be a ginger. Yellow, happiness, hope, deceit. Green, new beginnings, abundance, nature. Blue is calm. Yes, I knew that. So I want. And I feel like this is already a mistake because I'm doing this with like my mouse and stuff like this. So it's just going to be harder in general to like come up with and draw. It's just going to be harder to like visualize what I want. But let's just, let's just start out. Do I want this to be a dude or do I want this to be a girl? Hmm. Could be a girl, but um, I'm I'm I can draw dudes easier because I don't know how to draw girls. Because then I feel like I have to change the proportions, which you do, and if if you want them to look feminine, so um, I'll just stick with, I'll just stick with a guy. So this guy, he's just gonna be. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't got like a particular race in mind or some stuff. But what I do want to get down is hair. I want to make. So let me just erase that face. I want to make his hair. Because that's, that's what really stands out in my drawing style the hair of the characters. So, um. Z had like this spiky stalagmites or stalactites. I don't know which one points to the up. Let me see. I feel like I can go with that. Or maybe I can go with like a kind of. Like, you know, that hair that like flows in the wind? Long hair? Could I give him like. Ooh, I could give him like zero hair. Like. Zero. There you go, man. I could give him like a. Like a, this kind of hair. Or like it, it kind of flows in the wind, but not just blatantly ripping off Zero. Because I, I still want him to look like. I didn't just grab a bunch of parts from different video games. Which is going to be funny because I am basically <laughs> just using the Mega Man formula. Hmm. Hmm. Is that a female zero? They drew, yep, they drew zero with boobs. That's, all right, I'm exiting out of this. Okay. Um, oh, well, shit, let's just, I could just, I could just, boom, there he is. Let's put some vibe music on. Not the JoJo intro. It's gotta be here. I don't. Hmm. Hmm. 
Whatever that was, so we're not going with that one. Yo, where it be though? We're actually wait now. Uh, hold up. We're just gonna go with specialist Persona Four, but in the style of Persona Five because that's Rohan Idioti. He is a he is a god. Da 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 Uh, well, the first two things I got were Samus Aran and Master Chief, and both of those don't show their hair. GLaDOS. Here's some odd ones. Gordon Freeman from Half-Life. He is a video game character. I, I will not deny that. Marcus Phoenix. That's nice. Clementine. That's also nice. Cortana, you know, just... Carl Johnson is isn't he from like San Andreas? Chris Redfield, Sonya Blade, Sam Fisher. What a fucking legend. Male. Okay, let me just specify male video game characters. First, one of the first pictures was a female. Hottest male video game character. Okay, well, I can tell that. This is being taken very seriously. I'm gonna loop this. Actually, I'm gonna just put Life Goes On after this song finishes. Haircuts where like it goes up and it's like the back. It's like comb. It's combed towards the back. What if we? What if we work with that? What if? What if we uh, try to do something with that? <laughs> I'd give him a mullet. <laughs> Spikes. That's I don't know why. I'm th I'm just thinking spikes, like spiky hair. But that's kind of lazy since I've already made a spiky hair video game character. Yeah, but who said I can't just do it again? Um, Zora from from Brief of the Wheel. They got the the thing. I could make him not human. I could make him not human. Let's let's just try to go with like a, a forward facing thing. All right. So what's what's this person that one? Uh, Z is sarcastic and shit. So let's let's make this guy cool. Let's make him cool. Let's make him cool. Like the uninterested, uninterested thing. Cool guy. Was too good for school. 
Alright, we're working with this, we're working with this. Um, his hair color? I'm thinking orange. I am thinking orange. I want orange, orange, brownish. All right, those ears are absolutely terrible. Can we get rid of them? Yeah. So, what would be? He would come, come this way. You know, like, like some, some like this. I want it. I want it to be spiky. But not too spiky that it looks like an anime character. Cause this this is gonna be a 2D game. That I, I want this to be. I want this to be a 2D game. How's the game? How's the, how's the audio balance? Audio balance is goddamn perfect. Let's let's go. Oh shit! Oh my god, this is beautiful. I just got like I like his sideburns like are a bit long. So like let's just say he's posing dramatically, like looking at the moon or something like that, looking all cool and shit. And he's like his his hair's flowing in the wind, and you could like he has a cloak. Hold up. Well, I, I'm a sucker for cool guys with cloaks. My the the Z guy. I like how I refer to him as the Z guy because this is like the first time I've ever mentioned him on the channel. Alright, I actually butchered that. But you see where we're going. You see where I'm going with this. What if I. That looks like an Aztec temple. Um, no, it's too too flat of a head. Oh. I feel like this would be better defined if it was me drawing on a, with a pencil. We'll just give him place over a placeholder here. In the meantime. So like, oh, it'd be cool if like, while he's platforming and shit, like the faster you go, like the the more your cloak like waves in the wind. So he just got so it basically just looks like a cape, but it's still like a cloakish, you know. So. That's a small torso. We'll, we'll focus on his legs later. We'll just give him default body for right now. Right. Uh, pick this color up again.
don't know, I'm bad at like visualizing stuff. Especially when it's like my first time drawing it. But I feel like I can work with this. Because after drawing it enough times, I did come up with a final design for Z. I think I drew it like... I drew it in my notebook a few times, and I like originally was kind of trying to come up with like his color. I, I was like, I don't know why. I was going for like a laid back kind of guy. I was gonna make his hair brown. But then I decided to make him like a fucking firebender. Why am I cussing? Why am I cussing? Why am I doing that? I, I just decided to make him a firebender because I thought it was cool. Because usually like fire is seen as like the bad guy. It was like, oh, watch out. If you go into the bad guy's lair, guess what he's got? A bunch of fire. Fire. But I was like, what if fire was the good guy? What if the elements were not tied to um, morals? What if it was just, hey, this guy's a firebender, and he uses fire in like weird ways? Like I, I decided to make him like a toolsmith, so he uses like his fire to, um, he basically uses his fire as like his own heat source when he's smelting or whatever. I don't, I don't know. How, I'll, I'll search it up later. I don't know how to make tools. Alright, so clearly we've got a very rough idea. And honestly, that's okay. That's okay. Because you don't get everything fleshed out on the first try. You you think about it, you kind of think of what you want him to be. His face is very... I don't know. We have to, we have to fix... We have to give him a personality. More than just the token cool guy with the cool, with the coolness, you know. Like, is he serious? But like, serious. But like, underneath, is he like really caring? I feel like I'm gonna give him a team. It's gonna be like, I, I don't know what the story would be, but I just know that it'd be like he's he's like the main guy and like the team and the team. So like, he's got like the engineer, the or like the guy who makes him. The person who makes him new weapons, like the intel person, <laughs> the childhood best friend, you know, all the, all the cliches that you know and love, except probably more fleshed out, because cliches are fun sometimes, but usually not. Let's make him, I'm, I want to make him like kind of a stealthy guy, like he prefers not to make a ruckus, like let's say he had to go in and take out someone uh, instead of going in guns a blazing he would like preferably do it from the shadows you know so with that being said I feel like giving him a darker cloak would make sense something to blend in with night a mask we could give him a mask but like not not a mask mask but like one that goes over his nose and mouth but he's he's COVID man and he's here to tell you to wear your mask or whatever. Oh yeah, that's that's nice. And hold up, I I can change that expression real quick. I actually I'm just redo his eyes. So instead of looking uninterested, he's like. got you in his sights and he's ready to take you out and I was thinking oh that's a cool idea I this is not intentional at all but um what if his main his his robe was a uh, darker blue but like the edges were lined with like a just a, another highlight just to make it more interesting to look at because right now this is very uninteresting to look at. I just gotta come up with ideas to make this character look interesting. You might, you want to make him stand out, because you're not. I'm not the only one, obviously, who wants to become a video game designer or whatever you call the guy who comes up with the concepts. I don't know what the actual term is. I don't. Know, what is the actual term? 
Uh, but you just want to make your character stand out. So you can like pitch them to people. And if none of them get your pitch, then... Or none, if none of them think your idea is any good, then if you have faith in yourself, make it yourself. You know, don't let life hit you down so hard that it makes you think that you've got nothing to stand back up for. Man, that was good. That was good. I should. I should. I should write that one down. All right. So we've got a stealthy boy who is tough on the outside, but uh, caring on the inside. Is there anyone watching this? There is one person watching this. I'm very... Uh, okay. I want to come up with a name just so I can get even more attached to this guy. Because I, I've... I, I got something. Okay. Brown hair. Brown orange is higher. Cade? Cade. Okay, well, I'll, I'll write the names up here. Alright, so... Name one, that is a U, Cade. I'll come up with it, with more names as we go. I'll, I'll call him Cade for now. Alright, and this is going to be like a kind of futuristic vibe. It's like his gun. Gun of choice? Pistol, dual pistols. So, uh, I mean, just... Draw a pistol, but like, and then just do that, but again, and we could give him like a, I don't know, like some lighter. We can make them like energy pistols. So let's say like the mag here is just like a battery. And it shoots out the blaster over here. And we could like have some smaller like little veins right here that look like thunder. That'd be cool. Um Let's only give him a sword, why not? Let's 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 do even more Mega Man ish. Give him a sword. Customizable sword. Sword is not one color. You could you could decide it. Like a lightsaber. You know? So like let's say let's say you're a fan of purple, as I am. Good, good shade of purple. Yeah, there you go. You could like oh, nope, that is terrible. I'm doing it like as if it was being swung. So like purple blade, maybe we can give it. I like the bluish. I like the bluish. The kind of vibe we've got for this guy. Um, give it like a little. Like on the blade part of it. I mean, it's it's all the blade, but. You know how typically swords are. You know, you know, swords have a blade, so let's give it like kind of like a katana, where um, the blade has like a, a grayish thing on it. Let's give it a bluish thing. That's just because I like the. Well, you, you can change it to whatever in the game. That'd be cool, customizable. And let's go for um. Let's see. Colors associate passion, love, anger, energy, happiness, vitality. Green, purple, creativity, calm, responsible, sadness. Sadness? Mm hmm. Uh, warm colors. Red's a primary color. I know that. Give it 
like a darkish red, but like kind of taped up thing. So it's like a it's like a tape or not a tape grip, but like a grip on it. Take this back. We could have like a little like end thing right here, but with this, you know, we we could have it. Uh, it's like a, it's like wrapped up in a sort of tape that gives it extra grip. Anyway, enough about the weapons. I'm getting carried away. We have to focus on the character here. Good, the char this character needs some work. Let me change the. Let me change the song. Um, man. I'm boring, so I have like one song that I listen to. Uh, I could listen to Price. Mm. Help, I need help. Rival Battle Metal Sonic. Oh, I could do Battle Torna. Torna the Golden Country. Dude, after I saw the ending of um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I was like, what the fuck? Like, this... So, like... What is this, like, 60-hour game? You get all... You do all of this shit. You get to the top of the tree, and for what? For... Spoilers! Pyra and Mithra to fucking die and then come back and make it a vague, open-ended ending about whether she retained her memories or not. And you make you the whole ending. I don't know. The ending was kind of ick. They pulled that thing where it's like, oh, a character says something to another character that's like, you know, like important or whatever. But like they don't they don't he let you hear what they say. And you do it like three times. Py they do it to Pyro once. No, they do it to Pyro twice and like Malos once. Anyway, I, I don't know. I just felt like the, the whole ending was kind of, yeah. But anyway, yeah, that's just me being this a, a dumb poo poo man. Let me, let me get a second key right here. So let me try to let me try to draw this guy. Like as as I usually do. It's like To make him look stupid, please. Sorry, that that part is just really good. This whole song's really good. Right, that's his ear. Yo, the back of his like hair, his neck tail could be super sick. If only I just knew how to draw right, but I suck at drawing. For as much as I draw, I sure do not get better at it. Okay, hold on. I can fix. I think it's the face shape that. I think the face is. Bit flawed here. Mm, -na 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 -na. 
How is this a battle theme though? Like, it's a beat and all, but it's just like... You go into a battle and you start hearing this and all you want to do is just fucking jam. Oh my god, I cursed again, I'm so sorry. No one's watching anymore, huzzah! I have successfully drawn everyone away. <laughs> Even the one guy who watches my streams isn't watching this stream. That's... <laughs> Fudge, man. Oh, wait, hold up, I know. Let's say he's pissed off. Let's say he's pissed off. Something happened. He's pissed off. Someone pissed him off. And he's like, I'm gonna go whoop y'all ass. This is what he do. This is what he do be doing though when you piss it when you get him pissed. How old should he be? Cade. Age. Uh, let's say he's around his twenties. Around twenty. Yeah. Old. You know he's still in his prime. And his birthday is today. So June fifth. This is that is the day that I began to create him. June fifth. And let's just mark it with today's date. Twenty twenty one. So current name is Cade, subject to change. Age around twenty years old seems legit. Uh and that is today's date. I can make his shirt under like his his black shirt under here I feel like I could make that more interesting but I'd have to I, I just have to get a better feel for the character first all right but he's got a sword and he's got a gun any other weapons I'll probably come up with in the future maybe like multiple playable characters that play differently so like you got one guy who Instead of platforming normally, he's like, uh, he doesn't have like a good jump, and he has like dashes though that help him traverse levels. I don't know. But right now, I just want to focus on making protagonists. <laughs> Look at the small torso. Alright, we'll just, I'll, I'll get rid of this so I can make it, I can take it seriously. I get so giggly so fast. Alright. How do I. Wait a minute. How do I draw arms? Yeah, no, that doesn't look good. That does not look good. I see that one person has joined the stream. I wonder how long until they leave. Uh, uh, sure, let's stick with this. This man's gonna be ripped. Because he's he's so used to parkouring and whatnot, he's gonna be he's gonna have some impressive pecs. Let me just tell you that. He's go there's gonna be a scene where he takes off his shirt and all the ladies are gonna go, damn. He's gonna be he's gonna be quite the ladies man. But he's not he's gonna be like no, I don't have time for love in this life. I must 
get vengeance or whatever his motivations are. I don't know his motivations yet. Look at his fucking big, <laughs> look at his big fucking head. <laughs> oh my god, I can't take anything seriously when I do it wrong. My god, my god, this entire thing. It looks like a pop figure. And that's bad, you don't want anything that you make to look like a pop figure. Because pop figures are the epitome of mediocre design. Like not only do the characters kind of look wonky, but just the, the, the figures themselves are, are just bad design because they don't, they, they, just, they just don't balance. Never take a Funko Pop out of its box. Because they do not balance well on their own. Man, I can't get the dimension. I can't get like the physique right on this guy. Alright, I'll just. Instead of physique, screw physique. Cloak. That's the secret. I do cloaks because it's easier to hide the fact that I'm a terrible artist. What time is it right now? Jesus Christ, it's 1 a.m. And I'm over here making a video game character. I should be hired as a creative director. I'm just kidding though. I probably suck ass. Or who knows? I just got I just got creativity in my mind. Who knows if I his 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 hands are nubs. His hands are nubs. I can't draw hands. Anyway, here's like the sword that I was talking about. Freaking this sword over here, his laser sword. How original. So you've, you've pissed him off, he's pointing his sword at you, which is the kiss of death or whatever. Uh, I feel like I have to get like the design really well on this guy or else he's just gonna come off as like some edgy oh, original. Some edgy OC that some freaking 13 year old came up with on DeviantArt. Which honestly is not that far off the draw. But at least I'm self aware enough to admit it. But hey, who knows? Maybe I'll just restart on making this character because I feel like I gotta tweak some shit like I'm trying to think of a character right now but it's just it's coming off as like kind of an original you know like oh wow a guy with pistols a laser sword and he has a cloak where did I get the actually now I think about it this is not at all what I intended but it's literally just fucking Gunvolt. It's this guy. It's fu it's this fucking guy. Oh my god. I literally just like created a shittier ver way shittier version of Gunvolt. God damn it. <laughs> That's what it is. It's a shittier version of Gunvo. He's got the pistol. He's got the fucking blue thing. The cloak. He's got the kind of hair. He's almost got the hair. This hair is just really poorly drawn. Nah, it's it's just Gunvo. Is that his name? Gunvo. Is it? Is that his actual name? Is his name Gunvo. That's a weird name. Uh. Hmm. 
I just just delete this. Delete all of that. Forget. Just just act like it never happened. Hmm. You know, I think I just got lucky with my first character because this character I'm not feeling it. Like Z, I'm surprised that I actually came around with a with a, a design that I that I liked early on. Like I only drew like I only drew him like four times before I got like a a consistency down. But June fifth will not be. I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, make a character right now, especially with my 1 a.m. brain taking over. So spiky hair anime boy. That's just gunvolt. Hmm. Alright, hold up. Let's instead of working on the character, let's work around the character. So what do I want for him? Boy, he's gotta be high tech. He has like Maybe he has like a, you know, like a visor kind of thing, you know, where you can see. Oh, like he talks to people right here. It's like an earpiece and visor. He, it's a dude. It is a dude. So that's important to keep up with. To the dude. I want him to have a like a kind of cloak thing. Maybe one of okay. Maybe w one of his like if he gets upgrades in the game, is could like invisibility cloak. You know. He could be kind of stealthy. Pistol. I want to keep the pistol. I, but like maybe just one pistol and it's like silenced pistol. Because I'm kind of going into with this stealth idea. He could have this ability where he like dashes into enemies. So like if let's just say. Like this is an enemy. And like this is him. A scarf. I could have him like have a scarf. Instead of the cloak. So it still kind of matches with the whole. <laughs> That's a funny. This is a funny. I, I do decree this. It's a funny, but like instead of a cloak, because the cloak's been done to death, a scarf. You know, a scarf, that kind of thing. And then like the scarf can like wrap around him and something. I don't know. Something with the scarf. But anyway, like let's just say he's in the air. Dude's over here on a platform. This man's in the air, probably like jumping over a pit of, of boiling hot lava. You know, there's. Oh no, fall in here and you die. And he gets this thing where it's like a targeting reticle. And he could like press like an action button or whatever. And he zooms in to this guy and like hits him. So kind of like a... What would that be called? Like a sword slash dash? S sword dash slash? The dash slash. Dash slash. That's fun to say. And it like so let's so let's say what if he was in like a different situation? Where instead of up here, he's down here. He's about to fall in lava. Oh no, what shall he do? Well thank thankfully for him, or fortunately for him, he's right next to an enemy. So he dash slashes to the enemy. And he, go, and he crosses through it, and he comes out the other side. So it could be like this thing where he could like use it as like a momentum builder. So let's just say, like platform, jump here, cut through here, jump on wall, and then like wall jump across, and like you know stuff like that. A fun little two D platformer. But, um, maybe what I could do 
is make it like a pixel game. So the characters don't need to be that detailed. <gasps> Maybe it could be like a Samus kind of thing, you know? Where like they don't really know what the character looks like until the end. Or it's just like a thing where the character is always kind of shrouded in mystery. Like, oh, what does he look like? I don't know. He'll be revealed in like a game and then everyone's gonna be like, well, that was anticlimactic. He's just a normal dude. Or something like that, you know. Maybe I should build more around the premise of the game rather than the character. Because this game, it is going to have a story. It is a story. I mean, because every game's got to kind of have a story somewhere in there. But um, with this game, I feel like... I feel like the main character doesn't need to be as fleshed out. Because it's like... Think of Mega Man. You know, like he's he's a uh, he's a fighting robot that uh, wants to protect humanity and fight against the forces of evil. Like that's and that's all he really needs. But um, who knows? Maybe I could like give this guy kind of a character and have it like you know, and kind of like in Shovel Knight, where they've got like their portrait over here and then they start talking or whatever. Maybe he could have like a personality. Maybe he could like tell puns or something. Maybe, maybe not a cool guy. Maybe kind of like an energetic kind of dude, you know? And I could have like a, I kind of still want to have that like hair color, like that brownish orange. <sighs> Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I just got an idea. I just got a vision for it. Something like that, something like that for the hair. And then, let's just do the face. Very, very crude drawing. Nah, let's just do that. Get the point across. <laughs> he look. He looks like one of those weird enemies from uh, Super Mario 64. We'll fix the expression. We'll fix the expression. Let me just try to work while I still got the image in my head. Yeah. Not looking too good, but hold up. We'll flesh it out. color back okay hold up it's coming along swimmingly we'll push we'll push we'll push we'll push we'll push Waking up in six hours, thank you, Windows. But sadly, that alarm that you have was merely something my brother did in high school. And he is no longer in high school, he graduated years ago. So that alarm is no longer needed. You've been doing something absolutely unnecessary for the past year. Or wait, one, two, three, like three to four years. All right, but um, this is coming along better because I actually have an idea for once I kind of just I think is what what the problem was is that I tried to force the character because with Z I just kind of kept drawing the character until like I kind of came up with like a whole head cannon for him but uh, this guy but uh, but uh, this guy actually why did I delete the Cade I like Cade
That might just stick. That might just end up sticking. Wait, how, how do I do like the... He's tired. He's got bags under his eyes. Oh, actually, if I just put a bit more detail into this. So, here's the eyebrows. And yeah, there it is. And let's get rid of that, that teeth grin. And let's put something more laid back, like just a simple smile. There you go. He could be laid back, but he could also be energetic. You know, he he know he, he likes joking around, but he knows when to get serious. And he's reliable. I like the I like the spiky hair. I think I just like spiky hair in general. That's a mistake. No, fill this out. No. Oh, I can I can fix this back part. shall be soon completed. Alright, I kind of just didn't have to delete any of that. Yeah, okay. June. Yeah, the 5th. 20. 21. I've got, I've got the face. I've got the face down. The hair could go underneath some little changes, maybe making it look sharper, toning down some of these unneeded spikes right here. But um, that could just that that could be done later on an actual piece of paper that I could draw properly on instead of having to clamp my hand around a mouse. What if I, I, um, I'll give him a jacket. Yo, hands in jacket pocket. Chill, chill dude be like. draw shoes the same way all the time so we'll see how that turns out so what was I going with dark blue with a hint of like a lighter blue color around the edges It's kind of the same as like Z, except Z's got kind of like a pattern around. I kind of want to make, make him. I want to make Cade. Cade? I like it. I want Cade to look more sleek, you know? Because he's like a futuristic kind of guy. Like he lives in the future. The far off year of 20XX. Or 20. 20 XXX. Wait, no, no, wait, no, that's true. No, I see why developers don't do that. That's three X's right next to each other. That means something else. 
I'll put in like 25 XX. Yo, the purple shoes though. The drip. Purple with black. Purple with black. We're gonna make him like this sneaky dude. Sneaky dude. He's gonna have he's gonna have like a loop in the third kind of personality. Where like he he do got the personality though, but he is like a, a, a great sneaker rounder. Typically, they beta design though. Although the pants could be better. I think, I think pants, pants is good. just gotta be good. Just gotta, we just gotta nail it right on the coffin. I like, I like the blue though. He reminds me. Actually, hold up. Uh, blue. He, he reminds me of the redesign they did for Blue in the Pokemon Let's Go Eve, uh, Pikachu and Eevee. Yo, they made they made a green super weird. She just throws Pokeballs at you. But at least she's canon now. Also, red just looks like a child again. Cool designs, though. I like, I like a green... I think it's kind of cool how they, they, they uh, got rid of her, like, like, uh, what was it? It was like a teal kind of long, like, dress, I don't know. And they gave her a, a more, uh, uh, they, I don't know, I just like, I just like dark blue and dark colors like that. Red just looks like a child, though, but I, I don't know. Anyway, I can work on this later. <laughs> I think I've got kind of good design though. I have to redo this face though. The, specifically the hair. Also the face shape I'm not a fan of. Just, just the head in general. This this is the part I have problems with right now. The, the clothes, I mean, I could... I think about it, it's, I mean... <laughs> I'm not satisfied with it, but it's just because it's like a first design kind of thing. I might start like drawing him and seeing, like, and start like uh, testing around or experimenting with like different clothes and different kind of like hairs. Like, what if instead of like this, I did his hair like to to um, you know like that. Entire thing was like over here. That's probably not gonna look good, so I'm not gonna do that. But you, you, you get what I mean. Just like change around some things, see what sticks. <laughs> but um, it it is 1:24 in the morning, and uh, for me at least, so I'm I'm gonna end this here. Uh, this is kind of a stream I feel like doing because I just I just finished editing a, a one hour long video that's gonna come out tomorrow and um, I just kind of wanted to, to chill for a bit and uh, yeah. I thought I thought it'd be fun to like to come up with a, with a new character Cade mm. I like the name Cade but uh, anyway yeah I'll end the stream now uh, thank you uh, my the one guy right now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye bye.